won't let you escape. You're very fast, but I'll catch you. I do. They've all been butchered. Chili. Watts nine one zero. I can still sense a presence. Merry Christmas. Why she built you? like that? What have you done? Vicar Larrabee? What happened? Demon! And a perdition! Vicar, Vicar! <laughs> Jonathan is no demon. He's just a loving son, returned from the dead. Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary, it has been you all along. Oh, it's me, all right, precious brother. Why did you lure me here? I'm gathering the family. For a final reunion. All smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother? Say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. Mary, let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Right then. Speak. Go! 
brother. It's time to bring this conversation to an end. Forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. shed one last red tear for my fallen sister. I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire. Born anew into an age of death and pestilence, while plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood.
Blade. It's on to us! Stay away! Whoever you are! This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. Leave me! Return to the shadows! But the shadows are our home. And wherever you stand, my son, I stand beside you. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Silence! The land calls for a champion. Silence! I'm tired of all these puppet shows. Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. So this is where she lives. What a splendid house.
Dr. Reed, welcome. How are you? As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter, my lady. There are many things you do not know about me, young Ekon. Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. I tend to tease my friends when uneasy. What is bothering you, my lady? Your letter was quite alarming. We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last met, my friend? I came to the conclusion that my maker... How? I... I... You... Some of the... That... I, what? I... In I... The, thank you. Th please... If, I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe. And of course, to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady. Why, truly, did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club.
To meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan. Promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. We may be deceptive by nature, but this heart of mine has always told the truth. Elizabeth. Go, my friend. But come back to me soon. So, time to visit the Ascalon Club. Yeah! 
It's locked. 